Hello students. In today's video, we will study pharmacology of uh, oxytocin. We will discuss its uh, physiological actions, mechanism of action, uses and adverse effects. Now, oxytocin is a natural uterine stimulant. It contracts the uterus. So, oxytocin is a nonapeptide hormone and it is also a neurotransmitter. It is produced or synthesized in the hypothalamus and it is released in the blood from posterior pituitary gland. Now, triggers that stimulate release of oxytocin from posterior pituitary are uh, like a first trigger is a stretching of cervix that is the lowermost part of the uterus and vagina during the childbirth. Then suckling of nipples of the breast by the baby. Then hugging, kissing, cuddling and sexual intimacy also stimulates release of oxytocin. Now let's uh, understand physiological actions of oxytocin. Now first is the effect on uterus. As already uh, discussed, oxytocin is a, uh, is a uterine stimulant. So, it causes uterine contractions. And uh, a uterus during early pregnancy is almost resistant to oxytocin. However, sensitivity of uterus to oxytocin increases progressively in the third trimester. And oxytocin is the drug of choice in inducing labor. Now, it is a drug of choice in inducing labor or it is a drug of choice in inducing childbirth as uh, uh, oxytocin um, causes uh, contraction of fundus as well as body of uterus. So, fundus and body of uterus is powerfully uh, contracted by the action of uterus at term while cervix is relaxed so there, this is uh, this feature of oxytocin is very useful and therefore it is a drug of choice in the induction of labor and also in uterine uh, inertia that is in slowly progressing labor uh, now let's uh, understand mechanism of action of oxytocin now look at this diagram it shows smooth muscle cell this is a smooth muscle cell of myometrium. Now, myometrium is a tissue layer made up of smooth muscle cells and myometrium forms the wall of uterus. Now, contraction of myometrium contracts the uterus. Now, oxytocin increases uh, intracellular calcium. It increases uh, the concentration of cal calcium in the smooth muscle cells of myometrium. And this increase in concentration of calcium is responsible for the contraction of uh, these smooth muscle cells, thereby causing contraction of myometrium and that results in the contraction of uterus. And therefore, oxytocin is a uterine stimulant. Now, oxytocin once released from the posterior pituitary, it binds to oxytocin receptors uh, these oxytocin receptors, these are GQ protein coupled receptors which are found on the smooth muscle cells of myometrium. Now, binding of oxytocin to oxytocin receptors activate phospholipase C. Now, this phospholipase C then hydrolyzes or breaks phosphatidyl inositol 4,5-bisphosphate that is PIP2. Now, this PIP2 is hydrolyzed into two components. One component is the diacylglycerol and the other component or the other secondary messenger is inositol triphosphate. That is inositol 1,4,5 triphosphate in short IP3. Now, this IP3 or inositol triphosphate, it opens up calcium channels of endoplasmic reticulum present in the cytoplasm of smooth muscle cells. And once these calcium channels are opened, calcium mobilizes or moves from the endoplasmic reticulum into the cytoplasm. This increases calcium in the cytoplasm. Calcium then binds to calmodulin and this binding of calcium to the calmodulin activates myosin light chain kinase. Now, uh, myosin light chain kinase, once they are activated, they induce contraction of smooth muscles. And thus, 
uh, there is contraction of myometrium and thus this induces powerful uterine contraction. So oxytocin contracts uterus and thus it facilitates childbirth. So increase in the cytoplasmic calcium is the most prominent action of oxytocin which is responsible for the contraction of smooth muscles, further contraction of myometrium and that causes contraction of the uterus and thus oxytocin facilitates childbirth. Now after studying the effect of uh, oxytocin on uh, myometrium, how it uh, uh, stimulates myometrium and how it causes contraction of the uterus, second very important physiological action of oxytocin is on breast or the mammary glands. Now breast uh, or the mammary glands are made up of alveolar cells and these alveolar cells produce milk. Now these cells uh, together they form the alveolar glands. Now there are certain cells called as the myoepithelial cells and these myoepithelial cells they surround the alveolar glands or they surround the milk producing glands. Now suckling of the nipples by the baby stimulate release of oxytocin from posterior pituitary. And oxytocin increases calcium, uh, that is uh, oxytocin increases cytoplasmic calcium in these uh, myoepithelial cells. So oxytocin uh, by increasing uh, calcium in the, uh, in the cytoplasm of myoepithelial cells, uh, oxytocin contracts myoepithelial cells surrounding the alveolar, mil alveolar milk producing lens. Now this squeezes alveolar glands and that causes the release of milk from the mammary glands and this reflex is called as a milk let down reflex. Now next is the effect of uh, oxytocin on the kidneys. Now in high doses uh, oxytocin exerts antidiuretic hormone like action that means it reduces urine volume. Uh, that means it causes water intoxication and thus causes accumulation of the wa water in the body. Now oxytocin is a happy hormone. Now hugging, kissing, cuddling triggers release of oxytocin and this strengthens the emotional bonds, uh, trust and empathy between individuals. Now talking about the pharmacokinetics of oxytocin, oxytocin is inactive orally and uh, therefore it is administered by intramuscular or intravenous routes. Now it is rapidly metabolized in the liver and kidney and therefore it has a very short half-life of uh, 6 to 12 minutes. Now talking about the uh, indications of oxytocin, oxytocin is the drug of choice in inducing uh, labor at term. And it is also very useful in uh, uterine inertia that is to facilitate uh, slowly progressing labor. Now apart from this, uh, since oxytocin is a powerful uterine stimulant, it uh, contracts uterine muscles that causes compression of blood vessels and that prevents bleeding from the blood vessels. And therefore it is very useful in preventing postpartum hemorrhage. Now side effects of oxytocin, oxytocin is a very safe drug but overdose and injudicious use of oxytocin can cause uterine hyperstimulation leading to uterine rupture and fetal distress and in high doses as discussed earlier it uh, exerts antidiuretic like action that causes accumulation of water in the body, water retention that is it causes it can cause water intoxication if it is used in the high doses. So this is in brief on pharmacology of uh, oxytocin. Please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students from their examination point of view. For the clinical use of oxytocin, kindly consult your physician. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.